Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I want to show you how to install FSR 3.0 frame generation mod on your Steam Deck with Heroic Games Launcher. So I'm playing Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. This was a free game last year, 2023 Christmas. It was given out for free by Epic. So I think a lot of people have this game and if you install it on your Steam Deck through Heroic Games Launcher like I have, you can still use FSR 3.0 frame generation mod by Luke FC. So this is a paid mod currently. So yeah, get that out of the way. Um, yeah, this is the game without the mod. I'll show you my settings. I'm uh, graphics. I've set the graphic preset to low, and display. I've just got FSR 1.0 set to quality. That's it. Um, my Steam Deck, Steam OS, it's currently on the latest stable release, 3.5.7. And I've got um, Cry Utilities on, recommended settings, and VRAM size set to 4 gigabytes. Okay, and for my Steam Deck performance tab, I've just disabled frame limit. Everything else is toggled off. And for power tools, I've got um, SMT enabled, 8 threads, and governor set to performance. So that's my settings. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll show you a bit of the game without the mod, and then I'll take you to my Steam Deck desktop mode, and I'll show you how to install the mod. And then, uh, yeah, I'll show you the gameplay with the mod on. So with low settings, you get like... 30-ish frames. Sometimes it dips into the 20s. Um, sometimes it goes to 40, 50. Okay, so yeah. That's this game. So let's just go to desktop mode and I'll show you how to install it. So I'll see you back in desktop mode. Okay, so before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to my secondary channel. It's called Growing Up Cooking. Other than gaming, cooking is also a passion of mine. So I'd like to share some of my cooking dishes, recipes on that channel. If you like gaming, you like eating, and you want to support me, please go over there and subscribe to that channel. I'll give you some sneak preview right now. All right, we're going to kill it. Are you ready? Oh, oh my God. Oh god, they put the sauce in. Ooh. Mm. So did you enjoy that? Watch the full video at Growing Up Cooking. Links in the description. Welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. So first thing I want to do is open up Heroic Games Launcher. So I assume you already know how to like link up your Epic Games Store account, your GOG account, and install your games with Heroic Games Launcher onto your Steam Deck. I have my game right here, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. If you don't know how to install it, I have a video. I'll leave a link in the description. You can follow that. So once you've got your game installed, like I have, okay, click this icon, uh, the configuration icon. Okay, Wine Prefix folder. You can see I've got my game right here. So Deck Games Heroic. So let's locate our game. Go to Dolphin, your file manager. Okay, and I'm going to go to Home, Games, Heroic. So here's my game folder, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, inside here, there's a retail folder. This is where my EXE is stored, I think. Let's open it. Uh, it's right here, gotg.exe. So this is where I'm going to put my mod files. This is the location where I'm going to put my mod files. So let's go and find my mod files. I'm going to open a new tab. I put them in my downloads folder, Luke FC mods. Okay, so the latest version of the mod is currently 0.10.2 as of recording. And I'm going to use the 220 file. So 220.zip, I'm going to extract it to my retail folder. I already have it, so I'm just going to overwrite. Okay, and then um, common. Okay, I'm just going to extract winmm.dll and winmm.ini. 
right? I have it already, so I'm going to overwrite. I'm not using the optional one for this game. Okay, and we need to run the game once first to generate the config file that we need. So how do we launch the game with the mod? On Steam, we have launch options for Heroic Games Launcher. You need to go here to Advanced and then scroll down a little bit, Environment Variables. Okay, here I'm going to type Wine DLL Overrides. That equals to WinMM equals native comma built in. All right, that's the launch code for Heroic Games Launcher. Okay, and we should be done. Click play. Let's try to run the game first. Okay, we've got the mod window booted up. And we should have a new file. You see here, we got this new file called fsr2fsr3.config.toml. That's what we need. It's because uh, you can see here. Okay, so you can see here, NVIDIA DLSS is still grayed out. It's still grayed out. So, yeah, the mod's working, but we haven't um, tricked the game into thinking that we have an NVIDIA display card. So let's quit it first. Uh, let's go inside this config file, double click it. And right here, fake NVIDIA GPU. We need to set this to true. So change it to true and save it. Okay, now let's boot up the game once again. And we should be able to trick the game thinking we have an NVIDIA display card so we can enable DLSS, which isn't true. Like we can toggle it on, but it's actually using FSR 3. Okay, so go here, options. You can see here, DLSS. Now it's uh, not grayed out. Okay, I'm gonna set it to quality. Okay. Apply. Okay, so we know it works now. Um, we can actually go into gaming mode and see how it performs. So let's go back to gaming mode. Okay, I'll see you back in gaming mode. Welcome back to my Steam Deck's gaming mode. We've already done all the modding. So let's just launch the game and see how it performs. Okay, so we, I think we have this. Um, Okay, that's the mod window. It's hooking up. And here's the launcher. Okay, let's just play the game. So obviously I'm not going to show you like every single location and testing it out. That's not the scope of this video. The scope is to show you how to install FSR 3.0 frame generation mod by Luke FC on Heroic Games Launcher because I think some people have games stuck on their Epic Game Store account and they installed it onto their Steam Deck with Heroic Games Launcher and they want to use this mod. So I just want to show you how to do it. You can see we've got some um, artifacting here. Yeah, the, the, I think the mod is definitely in place. I think most people get stuck is because they don't know how to add the launch options. Okay, settings, display, you can see I've got NVIDIA DLSS set on quality. It's not really DLSS, it's actually the FSR 3.0 mod. Okay, so continue. So if you like the video so far, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel. Really appreciate it, you guys. If you didn't like the video, just leave a dislike. It's okay. You're part of Green Team. Assign me to the team. Okay. Yeah, you can see the UI flickering and, you know, artifacting, ghosting, yeah, everything. I think it's because this game doesn't have DLSS frame generation by default. So that's why it's going to take some time for someone to smooth it all out. But uh, yeah, it does run smoother. You can see we're getting 40-ish, 50 frames. Let's drop a little bit to the 30s, 20, high 20s. 
but uh, uh, this is like a cutscene. But uh, yeah, the mod is definitely working. Uh, I wouldn't play it this way because uh, I can't stand that artifact thing, the ghost thing, stuff like that. Even though it's a little bit smoother, still. So yeah, that's how you install it onto Heroic Games Launcher. Let me know in the comments if you have any issues and, you know, leave a like. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.